So we've got an 8230 that we're working on today and customer is complaining about an SCV that's surging while he's pulling or running his pull pipe sprayer here. And the SCV that's surging is the one that runs the solution pump. So it's a continuous flow all the time and he's seeing um, his hoses fluctuating and causing it or seeing that it's surging pretty much. And there's a couple different uh, causes to it. Uh, the main one that we see quite often is the control valve in the SCV here. There's a solenoid inside there that goes bad and causes them to surge. Uh, usually if you only have one SCV that's surging, the cause will be the solenoid. If all of them are surging, then the issue is the control valve on the side of the pump itself that the load sense circuit is controlling. On this one, we're going to go ahead and pull the cover off here and I'll pull that solenoid out of there and show you guys what it looks like. After we get all the bolts pulled out of it, new solenoid comes with new bolts. A lot of times they rust out and you end up boogering them up sometimes to get them out of there too. We'll go ahead and pull this cover off. We gotta be gentle though. There's two wiring connectors on the inside in there. You gotta pop off of there. A lot of times I use a, a hook and unclip them. The hard part's getting them back together. Cause there's a circuit board in there that runs that SCV. That's pretty much the SCV controller right there. So you got a connector right here and one right there that you gotta get plugged back in. And there's one more cover. It slides off of there and that actually holds the solenoid in place. You can see right here's the solenoid. There's also a position sensor in the back there. Position sensor is actually not available through parts, but you can get the solenoid and what they call the OBE right here, the actual control board there. And go ahead and remove the solenoid itself. It just pops out of there. And on the end, there's supposed to be a little piece of plastic that cups around the end there. And it's still on the inside of the valve, so we gotta fish it out. So right here's the piece that goes on the end. Clips on the end right there, like that. You gotta make sure you get it all out of there. Just gotta use a pick to pull it out of there. We'll go ahead and install a new solenoid in there. 